How you doing? I'm Mike Gaddy and this, this is Event Industry Updates. And today, today we move away from just talking about COVID and events and how COVID has affected the event industry. That's because COVID has finally receded into our national consciousness into the background. If you need proof of that, just open any news app and try to find a story about COVID. Even though cases are rising right now pretty steadily throughout the United States, the impact on events and on the world at large seems to be really minimized. And part of that is because of the judge uh, ruling mask mandates to be uh, not legal. And so therefore, as you probably know, uh, mass mandates on airplanes have been dropped and all public transit. And that has really made life more normal when it comes to travel and travel and events are closely connected. With that in mind, I thought the new series moving forward would be about life on the road as an event professional, about what it's like to have your office, your office at 35,000 feet, because that's often where I'm working. I want to talk to you now about how to leverage those loyalty programs to make travel cheaper, whether it's air programs like on Southwest or um, hotel uh, travel programs, loyalty programs that help you score better rooms for cheaper across the United States. Right now, I'm talking to you from my hotel room in San Jose, California, right next to the San Jose airport. That's because we're about to do the Santa Clara Travel and Adventure Show, the Bay Area Travel and Adventure Show. Our room here is at the Sheraton Four Points and I am a lifetime elite member of their loyalty program. That allowed me to cash in what are called sweet reward points in order to score a hotel suite for those four days that we're here. In addition, Marriott now, who owns the Sheraton Four Points, has new, uh, of new uses for the points for their loyalty program, which allows you to combine cash and points. And so this room that I'm sitting in, which is a two room suite, costs us $250 total for the four nights that we're here, and it's a two room suite. Those are the kind of tricks I plan on sharing with you about how to leverage technology when you're at 35,000 feet to stay connected to your team on the ground, even if they're having a problem. The other day we were going, I was going from Atlanta, Georgia to Las Vegas, Nevada. And Matthew was finishing up the Travel Adventure Show in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a Sunday. The travel shows run two days, Saturday and Sunday. Anyway, his computer decided to have a problem. I was able to log on at 35,000 feet, remotely tap into his computer and fix the problem all while jetting to Las Vegas. Those are some of the tricks that I'll talk about and they might just come in handy for you. So please join me. Join me as we talk about life on the road, about how to make travel cheaper as you do it more, and how to stay connected to your team even when you're in the sky. I look forward to seeing you. We'll talk to you soon.